What is up guys, how are we all doing? In this episode I'll be showing you how you can equip and unequip a weapon. I'll be explaining the actual steps you need to take, so don't worry if you've got a different weapon to me. Whether you've got a gun, sword or frying pan, this tutorial will work for you. This video was supported by my Patreons. Thank you Zin and thank you Action Jackson for joining the team. If you'd like to support me creating content or would like early access to my videos where I can answer any of your questions before the official video release, please check out my Patreon. I'll leave a link in the description. Thank you so much to my current Patreons, you guys are the best. Now let's get into this video. Before starting this episode, you will need to have watched my merging animations tutorial and my pickup weapon tutorial. From those videos, you will get a reference to your weapon in your character blueprint a socket on your skeleton, and an animation blueprint which looks like this. The videos are super fast so you'll get through them in no time, but if you don't want to do that I've got a download to my project in the description. If you download the project I'd still suggest watching the videos so you know what's going on. Just throw them on 2 times speed and get it done. You will also need a draw weapon animation. I'll really quickly explain how I produced mine if you want to create one yourself. First, open up your 3D modeling software, I'm using Blender, and get your character mesh. Import your weapon onto your mesh, then position your weapon into a similar position as your socket is in Unreal. Then just create the animation. I'll leave a comment under this video explaining things in more detail, but I don't really want to spend any time on that in this video. So check the comment section if you want to learn more. So once you've imported your draw weapon animation, we're ready to start. We're going to begin by duplicating the animation and calling this new one Sheath Weapon. Then double click to open it up and set the playback speed to minus one. This animation will now play in reverse. Then we're going to duplicate our draw weapon animation again and call this Weapon Hold. Double click to open it up and we're going to right click at the end of the animation and remove all frames before the last one. This will be used as a hand animation to get our character to hold the weapon in the right direction. Now we're going to right click our draw sword and sheath sword animation and create an anim montage for both. As you now know this has given them a slot that we can use in the anim BP. Now open up your third person character BP. The only blueprints I've added to this is the pickup weapon which picks up the weapon and assigns that weapon to the equipped weapon variable. So I'm just going to start by bringing in the left and right mouse click events. These will be used to draw and sheath our weapon. Now I'm just going to throw some nodes at you and we'll explain them at the end. First create a variable called weapon drawn. Bring in the variable with control plus drag, B and click to bring in a branch and then connect that up. Bring in our equipped weapon reference. You'll only have this if you followed my pickup weapon tutorial. Pull off this with an is valid node with the question mark. From the branch, connect the false into this. Bring in a do once node. Bring in a play anim montage node and select your draw weapon animation. Then bring in a delay and connect the float from the anim montage to the delay timer. Then loop this back into the do once reset. You can double click the path to add a reroute node. Now select everything and press Control W to duplicate. Connect this group to the right click mouse event and delete the branch connection to the valid with alt clicking the path. Then connect the branch true to the is valid. Now change the anim montage to your sheath weapon. So what is all this doing? First we're checking if the weapon is drawn so we don't play the draw weapon animation twice. Then we're checking if the equip weapon variable is valid because we don't want to try and draw a weapon if we don't even have one on our back right? We're making sure we only play the animation once so we can't spam play the animation. Then we're playing the animation with the delay that is the same length as the animation. When the animation is finished we're resetting the do once so we can play the animation again. The exact same thing is happening for the right click except it's the sheath weapon animation and the branch for the weapon drawn is coming off the true instead of the false. Now we're going to create two custom events. One called draw sword and one called sheath sword. Control drag in our mesh and bring in the attach actor to component node. Control drag in our equipped weapon as the target. Select both these nodes and control W to duplicate them. For the draw sword socket name, we're going to type in our hand bone, which is hand underscore R. For the sheath sword, we're going to use the socket on our back, created in the weapon pickup tutorial, called weapon underscore back. Your names may be different, which is fine, just make sure the spelling is correct, otherwise it won't work. 
alt drag in our weapon drawn variable and set it to true for draw sword and false for sheath sword. I almost forgot, set the location, rotation and scale rule of the attach actor to keep world. So now, our character BP consists of playing the two animations with left and right click and two custom events, which attaches the weapon to either the hand or the back. Now we want to trigger these attach weapon events during the weapon draw and sheath animations. This can be done using something called an anim notify. So open up your draw sword animation. At the frame you want to attach the sword to the character, right click and add notify. Call this notify draw weapon. Now open up your sheath sword animation. At the point you want to attach the weapon onto the back again, create a notify and call this sheath weapon. Now open up your animation blueprint. Under event graph, bring in a cast to your character node. Mine's gonna be cast to third person character. Convert this to a pure cast and connect the pawn owner to it. As the owner of this animation blueprint is our character, we can use this as a reference. Pull off our character and bring in the two events we made, which attaches our weapon to our character, draw weapon and sheath weapon. Now bring in our two anim notifiers by right clicking and calling them by name draw weapon and sheath weapon. So these anim notify events will play when our animation has reached the frame that we set them on. So we can attach these to our draw weapon and sheath weapon sword events in our character BP. So now when the animation triggers the anim notify, we will attach the sword to our character and the same for the detaching. And that is everything to simply draw our weapon. But now we have to tidy up a couple of things. First is that our entire top body is playing for the draw weapon animation. We only want the arm animation to play. The second is that our weapon is being pointed into the ground. Doesn't look very cool, so let's fix these things. The first thing we're gonna do is change our slot for our right hand. So open up the draw sword montage. In the bottom right, under anim slot manager, add slot and call this right hand. Then under slot, select the right hand slot we just made. Then for the sheath sword anim montage, we're also gonna change the slot to right arm. Now, open up your animation blueprint. I'm not gonna be explaining what everything does as I cover that all in my merging animation blueprint video. It's pretty complex, but in that video, I feel like I do a good job of explaining it. So if you don't understand anything, be sure to watch that tutorial. It's really quick and you'll be way better off afterwards. So first we're gonna bring in our upper body cache and control W our default slot. In the settings, change this slot to our right arm slot we just made. Then create a new cache and call it right arm. So we're taking the upper body animations adding any right arm slot animations onto it and setting this to the right arm cache. Now we're gonna blend this onto the animation result from merging the lower body and upper body animations. So bring in the right arm cache and bring in a layered blend per bone node. Connect the lower and upper body anim result to the base pose and the right arm cache to the blend pose. In the details, add an array element and for the bone name, put clavicle underscore R or whatever your right shoulder bone is called then put in a blend depth of zero. Remember, this is how much of each animation is blended. As we want the right arm cache to have full control of the right arm, we put it as zero. So that's fixed the problem of our body freezing up when drawing our weapon. Now we just need to fix the weapon holding position. As we want our arm animation to run consistently, it needs to be intertwined into the state machine. So double click to open it up. Then we're gonna copy our idle run state because we want everything to be exactly the same but we want our hand to be facing a different direction. So call this idle slash run underscore web drawn. Plug this into the jump start. Now we're gonna copy the old transition from the idle slash run to the jump start. So open it up, copy the is in air, then go back with the arrow in the top left, then double click to open our transition from our new idle slash run transition to jump start and paste in the is in air. Now connect our old idle slash run to our idle slash run web drawn. We're gonna to want to transition to our web drawn idle slash run when our weapon is drawn. So let's create a bool variable called weapon drawn. Open up the transition and control drag our weapon drawn into it. Double click to open up the idle slash run state. Now we're gonna blend our arm animation into our movement blend space. So yet again, bring in a layered blend per bone node. Now bring in our weapon hold animation from the asset browser and plug these together. Remember, the weapon hold animation is the animation with just a single frame of our guy holding our weapon forwards. On the layered blend per bone node, we're gonna add a ray element. Set the bone name to clavicle underscore R or whatever your shoulder bone's called, 
and set the blend depth to five. You can play around with the blend depth, but I think five looks good. By changing this value, you'll be changing the direction the sword's facing because the animations will be blended different amounts. Now we just need a way of updating the weapon drawn variable so we can transition into our weapon drawn state. And where have we previously updated when our weapon is drawn? That's right, the character blueprint when we attached and unattached our weapon. So in the event graph, off our third person character blueprint, get weapon drawn. B and click to bring in a branch and connect these up. Then alt drag in our weapon drawn to set it. Coming off the branch is true, set the variable to true. Coming off the false, set the variable to false. And that is it guys. In the next episode, we're gonna be adding some character attacks to our character. So be sure to stay tuned for that. If you liked this video, it'd be so awesome if you could support me on Patreon. I hope to build up my Patreon team so I can spend more time on tutorials and produce even better content. Like, comment, subscribe, and join my Discord to keep updated with new video releases. Peace.